Welcome to TechniProject.com Now we are going to see the process of improving estimation accuracy of the Cocobon 2 using an adaptive fuzzy logic model. Here is the abstract of our process. Software cost estimation is the process of predicting the effort required to develop a software system. The objective of this paper is to examine the application of applying fuzzy logic in software cost estimation and obtain more accurate result. This paper proposes an adaptive software cost estimation model. It incorporates fuzzy logic technique to handle impression and uncertainty of software attributes. Here, using fuzzy logic Kokomo 2 model produce better estimation accuracy than the Kokomo 2 model. The evaluation of the uptime results using mean of magnitude of relative error and PRAD evaluation techniques so that the fuzzy logic Kokomo 2 produce the mean of magnitude of layer 2 error less than the original Kokomo and the value of PRAD in the fuzzy Kokomo 2 is higher than the original Kokomo. Furthermore, the F5 Kokomo 2 provides better improvement in terms of estimation accuracy using mean of magnitude of layer 2 error. When compared to the original Kogumo, this model incorporates fuzzy logic technique to handle imprecision and uncertainty of software attributes and improve the accuracy of software estimates. Here is the DFT of the process. First move to the input generation model. In input generation, we have to select the input used in our cost estimation process. The inputs are estimation name and source lines of codes and cost drivers and scale factors. Here we use the scale factors as three scale factors and cost drivers as five cost drivers. Then move to the fuzzy rules. In fuzzy rules it contains three methods fuzzification, fuzzy rule engine and defuzzification process. In fuzzification process all the software attributes of the Kokomo 2 converted to the responding fuzzy sets and variables based on the fuzzy rules method. In, in input generation, the scale factors and cost drivers are denoted as a low, high, very low, nominal. So, that process are converted into fuzzy based rules. Here, if it is selected low means the scale factors, the corresponding fuzzy values are represented to the low values. If it is high means the corresponding fuzzy values are related to the high values. Then move to the fuzzy rule engine. In fuzzy rule engine, it has a four types. The first one in cost drivers, in five cost drivers are used in our process. The first one is PCAP and rescue data tool. The fuzzy rules is based on the four rules. If tool is low means then effort is very low. Then PCAP is low means effort is very high. So based on the rules, the converted inputs are applied to the fuzzy rules engine. In defuzzification process, in defuzzification process, after the fuzzy logic is all implemented in that process, using the defuzzification, the fuzzy rules are converted back to the software attributes values. So that we have to identify the input values of the process. Then move to the software estimation using Kokom model. So in that process, Using Kokomo 2 fuzzy based rules, we have to easily identify the cost estimation process and also the cost is low compared to our original Kokomo 2 process, Kokomo 1 process. So that software estimation is based on the three calculations, effort calculation. The effort is based on cost and time and stomping estimation. In cost estimation, how much cost is taken for fuzzy based Kokomo 2 model compared to other models so that it has, it has to be a better estimation results and also time how much time it taken compared to it. then stopping in the, how much month and schedules are needed to complete uh, the projects the overall estimation produces a better estimation results so the efficiency of our fuzzy based Kokomo 2 model is finally evaluated and compared to the original Kokomo model it is provided better estimation results here is the demo of our process 
That is the introduction piece of software cost estimation model. Here, by clicking continue this, go to the introduction part. Here, select any of the estimation name of our project. Then choose our inputs. Input file for calculating the source lines of codes. Here any one of the input file. So by clicking size button, the source lines of codes are calculated and also the input is in our further process. Then move to the next. Here selecting the scale factors is in our process. Here we are using three scale factors. The guidance named at the what are the rules is in our scale factors. Then select scale factors list here P R E Z E precedences. The first one is precedences. He select any one of the scale factors and so that type is extra high. Then move to plus development flexibility. Then select any one of the process. Then move to next. Then process maturity level very high. Then show. Then move to the next process. Here we are going to the cost driver selection. Here we are using 5 cost drivers. So the guidelines are used with the rules of the cost drivers. Then select any one of the cost drivers. AZAP means analyze capability cost driver. So the rules are high low. So we have to select any one of the process. Select a type is high. Then move to PCAP. Program capability cost driver. Select any one of the type. Then record reliability cost driver. Then time. Execution time constraint cost driver. Then data, database size cost driver. Then move to the next process. Here is not the crisp input. Here our input source is low, high, nominal and very high below. So that it is called as a crisp input. So our crisp inputs are shown in the scale factors and the crisp inputs are shown for the cost drivers. Here the crisp inputs are converted into fuzzy values means move to the next process. So it is the linguistic values. The scale factors, the corresponding scale factors, CUSP inputs are converted into linguistic values for use of fuzzy classification purposes in linguistic values. So the high, nominal, very high, the CUSP inputs are converted into fuzzy rules values based on the FL Kokoma 2 model. So the linguistic values are generated for the cost drivers process. Then clicking fuzzy input button, the selector estimation name and size and the scale factors fuzzy values the selector input for corresponding each and every scale factors and cost drivers and the corresponding fuzzy values are input selector and display here is the input here is the given input of our process the estimation name cost estimation and our size is 1200 and the scale factors cost driver first one we have to ACAP select high so the corresponding percentage is 1.38 so the our selected input values are displayed in the process. These inputs are used in the effort calculation. Then move to the effort calculation. Here by clicking effort calculation, our crisp inputs are converted to linguistic values. Based on the linguistic values, the effort is estimated by using the effort formula. So, that effort is converted in the here our effort is known with 3.7. So, the effort is calculated into my uh, formula is this a into size of and, and cost drivers and scale factors so based on the four input combination the effort is calculated by clicking schedule the schedule of the process is calculated the schedule means how much month it's taken to complete the effort of our process then clicking staffing means how much people are used for complete the required process so that the staffing considers the average staffing people counts so that cost value so the finally the cost value is calculated based on the effort into payment month so the cost here our cost value is very low because this value is one so the we have to achieve high more better estimation results using our fuzzy based kokomo 2 model the cost value is low means the fuzzy based kokomo 2 model provides better estimation results so we have to our our values is also low. So we have to achieve high estimation process accuracy. Then move to the detailed report of our input generation process on the final output. By clicking detailed report, we have to see the detailed report of our process.
here our estimation name is cost estimation the size is 1200 then of the cost estimation tool the time and data display the model name Kokuma 2 model here the requirement product design details and code and integration interest so these are the values calculated in the effort schedule average staffing and cost finally our cost values denoted as a 1.0 means it provides better estimation results compared to original Kokuma 2 model so we have to achieve high better estimations these are the the reports are same as for and cost report here the cost report we have to consider only product design and integration and trust values only so that we have to just take on the effort values and schedule and the average traffic here also the cost values is doing plus one so we have to achieve better estimation results then effort report means how much effort we take on the person's month schedule the average traffic. here we take on the detail design only the effort is based on detail design and integration trust. so the effort value is calculated and displayed so that cost value is low we have to achieve better estimation results so we have to show that graph for our final output result here our FL based Kokomo 2 model produces a better accuracy rates compared to original Kokomo 2 model using our FL based Kokomo 2 model so in percentage wise our method is also 95% accuracy rate compared to original model so that we have a better estimation process